From the sun in the sky, light energy transfers into solar power in batteries at home and the lights turn on. Solar cells produce electricity by converting light energy from the sun into electricity. Various manufacturing processes and products have been developed. Over 90% of solar cells used are silicon solar cells. Although they have a 20% higher efficiency, the price is expensive due to the difficult level of the manufacturing process, so competing with electricity produced by fossil fuels is quite impossible. Since organic and dye-sensitized solar cells still have low efficiency, it's hard to mass commercialize. If we can build solar cells by hybrid of inorganic and organic substances, will there be an increase in the efficiency and decrease in their price? Dr. Sok sang -il's research team at Korea Research Institute of Chemical Technology succeeded in developing the structure and manufacturing process of the world's most efficient inorganic and organic hybrid solar cells. With inexpensive chemical materials and easy processing, the way to produce highly efficient and low-priced solar cells has been opened. Inorganic and organic hybrid solar cells are produced with materials which have the pervoskite crystal structure combined with low-cost inorganics and organics. Also, the research team discovered the architecture of the solar cell for high performance by producing a very uniform and compact perviscite thin film. The known existing solar cell technologies are DSSC, thin film solar cells, organic solar cells, and the research team suggested a technology that combines all three technologies to make a bi-layer structure. We could build the world's best efficient inorganic and organic hybrid pervoskite solar cells by composing boards with low coat inorganic and organic substances and coating a uniform compact pervoskite thin film. Kijon 효율, 가격, 내구성을 모두 만족할 수 있는 태양전지로 어, 판단이 됩니다. The research result of Dr. Sok sang -il's research team at KRICT has been registered as the world's most efficient on the solar energy efficiency record of NREL, which officially approves the solar energy efficiency. Solar cells will be able to compete with fossil fuels if the development of core materials for a large area continuous coating process and commercialization of commercialized processing technology exist.